everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hope everyone is doing fine. Hope everybody is doing fine and gearing up for the summer. If you're here in Canada, uh, but elsewhere, I hope everyone is doing great. So my name is Suiven, known as Mati, and I'm the owner of Bright Star Fancy Boutique. So here I create content on how to run an online business. Um, it could be a boutique, it could be any business. Business is business. You can incorporate all of my experiences with your business that you are running. Whew. So I could not just wait to tell you guys what's been going on. And before I even go ahead to say that, my returning subscribers, you know how I feel about you. I really hurt you so much, you have no clue. So thank you for being here. Thank you for staying with me, giving me all these feedbacks. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for watching as well. And if you're just joining here, like you just, you know, this is what we do here. Make sure you stay, make sure you subscribe. And so yes, let me go straight to the point. So whew, last on my last video, I talked about, you know, how the uh, search for uh, the brick and mortar has been going, like the storefront. And I told you about two places that I saw and how, you know, I tried to weigh both of them and see which one was really going to be suitable for me. And the last one that I, I mentioned was the, uh, the London one, the London, Ontario uh, location. So, um, the, you know, we've, we, ever since then, we've been uh, thinking about it, you know, going back and forth with the landlord, trying to do some negotiation, negotiations. And guess what? I signed the lease. <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god guys i don't know i'm telling you right now it was an emotional roller coaster yeah so i signed the lease ah, i can't believe i'm saying, saying this but yeah it's happening it's happening so my garage boutique display room it's gonna have to move pretty soon ah honestly i am so emotional i'm rambling right now i don't even know what to say but yes i did i'm following my dreams and i'm hoping that you know everything works out well i have confidence and with your support i know everything will be fine the one good thing about this lease is the fact that the landlord offered to get out of the lease one year after which is something very interesting because for all the uh, commercial places that we've seen and that we've talked about lease and all, they're, stuck, they're, they're committing you to three or even five years. But this landlord gave me the option to get out of the lease after a year. It's a good thing and it's not a good thing. Why? Because who wants to get into a business and get, you know, get, get out of the lease in one year? Except maybe the location turns out not to be good and you just want to move to another location just to make sure, you know, you're, you're getting the right place where people can flood into your location. But yeah, so we're locked in. Oh my God, I can't believe I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's happening. Like I said, I didn't want to think about it too much. I didn't want to because... Like if you've watched my very first videos when I start few videos when I started this uh, YouTube journey with my boutique, I had mentioned to you guys that business has always been my passion. It is my passion. It's something I've always wanted to do. I've done lots and lots of things, and it was just about time for me to you know focus on one thing and pursue it. And this is it. This is it. I just. <sighs> I just believe that when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. When it's time, it's time. There's really nothing to go back and forth with it. So yeah, I signed the lease, so I'll be moving things here from my garage boutique. I'm gonna miss my garage boutique, I mean, because it's convenient, just staying at home. But at the same time, it wasn't really good for my business because not a lot of people know me. And whenever I post you know, my uh, products on uh, Facebook or in social media in general and somebody wants something as soon as they ask me where is your location where are you located I'm like oh I sell at home it just immediately brings down the uh, morale or let me say the uh, energy <laughs> of the person who wanted to actually purchase something because nobody wants to come to a home to purchase dresses like 
How, where are you going to like, you start thinking to yourself like, okay, where are you going to try on these things? It's not like, you know, when you buy something from a Facebook marketplace and you just go and you pick up that stuff. This is a, this is a, a clothing boutique. Like when you buy something, you want to probably try it on, except maybe you come pick it up and go back to your home and try it before you, you do a return. And also it was really, um, that was a roadblock for me, you know, with running a boutique in at home. If it's something like hair, I mean, like when I was doing my hair here, I'm still doing it. People get in here, they pick their hair, they try, look at the mirror and they go. But here you have to take off all your clothes and some people don't feel comfortable with that and I get it. So that I wanted to get out there to the world. Yes, online, but online is very, very stiff because a lot of things are happening online. Not everybody trusts, you know, purchasing stuff online these days and for me that just started with the, in this time in this day and age like it's just not easy to actually trust any website that you see out there is that's just a fact you know not that the online doesn't have a place it does have its uh, its place but again when you are in a physical location you you have that connection with your customer somebody walks into your store you have that connection with your customer and you the way you pitch your clothes to them can make them change their mind and they maybe have other options and they're actually touching and seeing the products live. Whereas online, you get what you get. And yeah, so there we are. So from time to time, um, so I should be taking the keys pretty soon. I'll be vlogging all the steps for you. I'll be showing the before I, on my last video, I showed you the, uh, like the, uh, the building and the inside of the building. But I'll be showing the before and the after. At least there's just a few cosmetics to do here and there in that location. And yeah, I'll be uh, vlogging and sharing with you what's going on, how it's looking. I haven't set up a launch date yet, but I will do that very soon. As a matter of fact, the landlord gave us two months to actually set up the place. So they gave us May free and June free. So that way we can take time to um, get our contractors to do whatever changes we want to do on the building. And of course with a building so what, what what happens is that once you get a building and you have to do some structural changes you need to get a permit from the city uh, but we're not really doing structural changes we're just doing paintings here and there um, putting off shelves you know in built shelves and things like that and that's you know that's about it so yeah I will be updating you on how this journey is going and we'll see what it has man like this is it like you have to follow your dreams if you keep procrastinating uh, keep putting that fear in you like what if what if then we're gonna stay in the same position and I don't want to stay in the same position I want to move forward yeah so oh by the way did you see Miss Cheryl Miss Cheryl is all ready for summer <laughs> and Melania is over there and she's still dressed in her evening gown <laughs> Melania Miss Cheryl are going to have friends now because they're going to have a bigger space with you know they can share they can uh, uh make friends and talk about issues about dresses <laughs> this is so weird all right guys so yes i thought i should tell you guys exactly what has been going on and where i am at the moment so there we go wish me luck <laughs> oh by the way if you're still here and you haven't clicked that subscribe button what are you doing go ahead and click the button subscribe and follow me on this journey and see how it will all end up it is a scary journey but i want you guys to be involved i want you guys to be with me and see you know uh the journey how it's going i mean i might inspire somebody or you might listen to this and tell someone and inspire someone to start up something you know what i mean so go ahead subscribe okay I'll leave it at that for now and I'll I'll be updating you as time goes on as the days go by um, and there we are thank you guys so much so much for watching I'll see you on the next video ciao